Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Uh, for this video, we are going to discuss self-practice 5.1b. Okay, question number one. The diagram below shows two triangle PQR and XYZ. So, it is given that both triangle PQR and XYZ are congruent. If PQ equals to XY, State other state the other characteristic involved if each of the following is used. A side angle side. Side angle side. So here there's one side. So this side. So need one angle and another one side. So we can say that. Can say that. Um, let me use different color, so it's easier for you to see. Okay. PR is equals to exact. Okay. So this is another side. An angle. We can say that Q PR equals to. Hmm, Y at Z. Or we can say that um, QR equals to YZ and the other, other angle which is PQR equals to XY Alright, so for B, side, side, angle. So the area of triangle PQR and XYZ must be equal because both are congruent. So we need another one side and angle. So you can say that PR, PR equals to exact an angle PRQ equals to X Z Y X Z Y or oh, you can say that you are equals to yz and angle qpr equals to y at z okay another one qr equals to yz and angle prq equals to x z y alright so this is the answer for b next question number two the diagram on the right show a triangle abc it is given that another triangle PQR is congruent with the triangle ABC. State the triangle congruent rule involved if AB equals to Q, BC equals to QR, and AC equals to PR. So these three are all sides. So this is side 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 for s s s for b a b equals to q and angle a b c equals to p q r angle b a c equals to q p r so this is angle side angle which is a s 
A. If you don't understand what is SSS and ASA, please refer to my previous video. Okay, that's all. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!